Okay. So, uh, dear fellow colleagues, this one is from the Google form that was uh, sent out. And until yesterday evening, uh, 133 responses concerning curation, copyright, and creative common. So, uh, we thought that, you know, since uh, almost 60% are saying that they have no prior experience concerning this area, so I will very briefly just uh, go through this. Now, when we talk about curation, uh, digital content curation, uh, <coughs> Normally, we, you know, uh, as lecturers, we search, we find content that are relevant to our course for our students, and then uh, we curate them, meaning, you know, they, we identify those that are appropriate, and then we classify them, and then we share it, okay? Now, in this kind of uh, normal situation that we do, we are often confronted, confronted by this copyright issue, because uh, we must assume that each and every item online are all copyrighted, okay? But of course, there's also, you know, the moment it's copyrighted, it simply means, sebelum you pakainya, sebelum, before you use it, you must get the permission. Do you do that? Otherwise, if it is in public domain, then you can use it freely. You don't have to ask for permission. So, <clears throat> this is where, uh, you know, copyright work cannot be used cannot be adapted, cannot be copied, cannot be published without the permission. If it is public domain, you can use it, no permission needed. Now, this is where, dear colleagues, huh, we want to encourage you to use CC materials. Okay, so work can be used without permission. Just use it, okay? And then uh, there are rules there. So I'm going to show you the rules. Basically, uh, this is open licensing. And this creative common got only four symbols. And these four symbols, you have BY attribution. It means, and you see the BY, it means you use it, you must cite the name of the author. Uh, share a lie, it simply means that you must use the same license. No derivative, it means you must not modify whatever that they're using. Use it intact. And non commercialization, you cannot make money uh, out of whatever I'm sharing here. And out of these uh, four symbols, uh, you can create this kind of license, okay? And this is the type of license. Uh, it can be CC0, that means uh, it is uh, public domain, okay? If it is CCBY, okay? Uh, CCBYSA, uh, those are, this is permitting people, if you see this, you can use them freely, okay? Uh, but you must cite, you must cite where you get it from, okay. Uh, NC, non-commercialization, okay. Uh, so you can make your own license. Uh, how to make own license? Later on, you know, you go to the uh, digital tool. Uh, we can give some example for you on how to do it very easily. You create your own license, by the way, okay. And uh, all these are called as OER. If we use a, a creative common, okay, then they can be classified as OER, which means that you, you see something like this, you know, for example, you go into MIT, and then you go look at the video, you want to use it, download, you can retain it into your laptop. You can reuse it, you can revise it, you can remix it, you can cut a portion of this, a portion of that, assemble, and make it your own, your very own for your student, no problem. Okay, and then you can redistribute freely, okay. So uh, this is what you can do. So there you are, uh, MIT. Every one of the courses are available as a CC. You don't commercialize it, that's all, okay? But you can use and remix it and cut any portion that you want, okay, use it. In uh, UMS, we have a OER center. So this is also one place that you can share. Uh, later on, Dr. Kelly can mention to you where you can uh, access this and you can share. Whatever materials, uh, as long as it is CC, you can share it here. Uh, you can have uh, e-books, you can have video and all those things. And for those of us who want to take a short course, it is only two hours course, do it and you will understand fully what is uh, CC, what is OER, and uh, at the end of it, you also get a certificate from our academic partner, COL. <clears throat> 